Hello! Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be colouring in this lineup of the Monster High Haunt Couture dolls. I hope it's alright that I'm not going to be drawing them. Clearly they're already drawn. They're uh, <laughs> fully lined and everything. Um, but this is my first video like actually drawing on camera and I didn't want to risk it because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still scared to go in with the colour <laughs> on camera and like knock everything the wrong way, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, grab a cup of tea, I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, um, but let's go! So I ended up making um, little mock-ups of each of the drawings to figure out the colours because I'm gonna be doing these in marker, um, and it's the easiest way to figure out what marker colours to do. But yeah, so <laughs> I actually really love how this came out because I don't know, it's just so cute. I can't wait to put these colors on the actual thing. Okay, I'm gonna go for this angle. Hopefully it works out. I'm gonna start with the skin tone with um, G00, a perfect marker. I like to use the sketch ones because they're cheaper. And also, I don't know, uh, brush markers are the best. Um, this one's like a really light color. Actually, shoot, this isn't the one I wanted to start with. I'm actually starting with uh, BG10, which is the really light colour. The other one's also light, but this one's even lighter. And I like um, to have a lighter base at the bottom. Or at least I figured out that's where I was leaning when I did the um, practice sheet. It's fine, it's just gonna be slightly darker. You might notice that part of our line art's also darker than the rest. I need to remember that this is gonna bleed a bit. Shoot. This isn't like marker paper, so it's gonna be a bit um, fun to navigate. Can't wait to do the lips later. <laughs> um, Cause that's usually where things go wrong with my marker drawings. Um, for Dracula, I'm not even gonna use a marker. Gosh, sorry if you see my um, hands. <laughs> like, I know you can. That's like the point, but I'm wearing my crazy outfit today and I've been playing with my cats. I'm like covered in scratches and wearing some of the ugliest sleeves you'll ever see. So I actually don't do a lot of market illustrations most of the time. I love markers. I love drawing with them. I think they're a lot of fun. Probably my favorite traditional medium, believe it or not, even though, again, I don't use them. Um. Because most of the time I just do pen sketches, and pen sketches and markers are fun, but I'm so worried about like ruining the markers. Oh god, I'm gonna. Um. Like, by having the markers absorb the colour. Which does happen, and it's fine, like, it doesn't necessarily ruin it permanently, but you know, I don't even want to risk it. And you can replace the nibs. Like, the cool thing about Copics and the reason why I got them so early, even though I so rarely like use them for actual illustration is because they're replaceable every part of them um in a more environmentally like conscious way the first few markers i got uh i got these Winsor and newton ones i hate them they're awful do not recommend that they i recommend the um paints not that i've used them but i've heard the paints are a lot better than their markers and maybe i just chose bad colors but I really didn't like using those markers. <laughs> um, and then I got Ohuhu because I watched Drawing with Waffles. Pretty sure everyone in the art community watches her. She's great. I love her video. She's the reason why I wanted to start a channel in the first place. Her and um, all of his antics. I love them both. They're great. And also that's a recommendation. You should totally check out their channels if you haven't already. Although, I'm, again, I'm sure if you found me, you've already seen one or both of them. Um, but... What was I talking about again? Gosh. <laughs> I like the ADHD. I can, I can multitask in a lot of ways. But concentrating and doing something is not a multitask that I'm capable of. Um, but yes. Oh, is a cheaper marker brand and you can get a lot for a much nicer price um so i definitely recommend
So Ohuhus are really good. You can get a lot for a small price. You get a cute little bag. And I got those, but they're all, at least when I got them, it's been a few years, it was like 2018, I think. Um, they were all uh, mid-tones and that was good, but there wasn't a lot of build up that I could do and I'd have to use them a lot smarter. And again, I was very new to markers. You can definitely get somewhere with them, but I ended up mostly using them for doodles. And then after I got those, I ended up moving on to Copics pretty quickly because Ohuhu is really cool. Um, but you can't like replace parts of them. You just have to, and you can't buy the markers individually. You just have to buy a whole new set. So I knew I'd start my collection with a pack of those and then start buying Copics. Because with these you can buy refills, you can buy nibs, you can buy like all sorts of things. Um, and it's great. And I've already got refills before. <laughs> They're, um, I don't think I know how to apply them properly yet. And then they recently rebranded them again. So I think it's easier now. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so the only mark illustrations I've done, I mostly use them for doodles. So if you've seen like my Monster High, I've done mark, um, Monster High like markup profile sticker things. And don't sell them as stickers or anything, but like, you know, they kind of look like stickers. And that was a lot of fun, but they were again like, not serious attempts at illustration, which is what I'm kind of going for here. Even though you can say I didn't do the lining of her hair very well. Oh god, this is so stressful. Um, and I've hyped it up doing this as an illustration so much while well, um, getting ready for it because I really I've wanted to do proper illust marker illustrations for a long time now. Um, and the doodles I do are fun, but. The only marker illustrations I've done before is like the ship art of Daphne and Velma. I'll, I'll throw it in here because it's like, I'm, I was very proud of it at the time. It's a few years old, but I think it's very cute. And I think the background turned out really well. And that's kind of what I want to do um, a lot more. And I can't believe that's the only one I did because when I did that, I was like, oh my god, this turned out great. I want to do this again really soon. And then I didn't. Uh, what color am I up to now? Blushies! Um, if you're curious, I'm pretty sure I got like the 40 pack when I bought it a few years ago, like a 48 pack, um, something like that. Have I... I still haven't actually run out of ink in any of them. Like, I'm getting low on some, but I haven't thrown out any other markers yet, so there's a fun fact. Um... Yeah, so they do last a while, um, but because they're on mid-turn, obviously, like, I haven't used them too, too often. Um, the thing about Ohuhu markers is I find they also, um, blend out, uh, bleed out a lot more, but that might just be because they're full of ink. <laughs> and that would be a good thing, most of the time. These shoulder brushes. My favorite. Not that you'll be able to see it because there's going to be a mesh layer in between, but whatever. Let's go new blushes. Because that's what art's all about, in case you didn't know. Yay! Um, blend out with the G00 again, which is the one I went over with. Um, probably should have gone for the light one, to be honest, but I don't know. This will uh, blend better. Because I find if you. Um, blended out with a too lighter color, it just ends up doing this really weird fade thing, which doesn't look good. This is gonna go straight into the eyeball, isn't it? No, not what we want. Okay, hopefully that'll look fine at the end. <laughs> this is great, and I was supposed to do the little kiss thing. Okay. Alright, so for a darker grey, I'm doing Copic's uh, Cool Grey number three. Wrong end. I literally only ever use the brush nib. Probably bad, but whatever. I don't know how to do silver or metallic objects, so I'm just gonna go wild and hope it looks somewhat metallic. 
I brought up the dolls before and then forgot to continue speaking about it, so here we go. Um, I think Frankie was gorgeous, but I hated the harness thing so much. Here I am drawing it. I thought it looked silly. I'm like, I don't care. Um, and the Claudine looked amazing, but I hated the shirt they put under her mesh top. And her headband, like I know a lot of people love it. I don't know, it just looks kind of clunky. I think it can look cute, but it didn't on the doll. And I loved her jacket, like her jacket was gorgeous, but I ended up not getting her. My favorite piece is on that doll. Like, I decided I wasn't gonna get Frankie as soon as they released the price point. Whew, that was a uh, spicy high price, and I do not agree that that was worth it for any of them. Um, considering other collector dolls going around at the moment, that was not a price point that should have even brought up. Especially for someone who was coming back. Like, Mattel's not doing well. It was very bold of them to go for that, like, big number that, uh, quickly. But, you know, I respect that in some ways. In others, mostly not. But that was a lot of money that I ended up spending on them again. We've spent a lot of money on Mattel over the years. I love like Barbie Monster High, Ever After High, like all that. Not that I have any, any Ever After High dolls. When they were releasing, like I saw all the leaks as they were coming out for these dolls. And I loved them. The leaks looked amazing when Frankie's were coming out. I was like, oh my god, this is going to be the most amazing doll. And it is. Like, look, the shirt and overshirt pieces, the skirt's gorgeous. The shoes are a really cool idea. I love the way the light switches at the back. But the harness, again, looked ridiculous. And I just couldn't justify that price point. Especially because she was the first one. I was like, oh, I was hoping they'd do Draculaura first because I knew I was going to buy her. And I did, um, and she's currently behind me on my shelves, still in a box because I'm currently seeking out a glass display case to display her and other dolls. I collected Monster High when I was younger, um, as they were coming out, and I had a really good time doing that when I was a kid. It was a lot of fun, and I missed it, and now it's back, and I'm very happy. I got some dolls on eBay over the last year before we knew they were coming back. Like I got um, Claudine's uh, Sweet 1600, that is a gorgeous doll. Uh, apparently what of the belt is this color. So yeah, Sweet 1600 Claudine, and then I also got um, Jackie Laura's Ghoul's Rule doll because she's gorgeous. And one thing I loved about the Hog Couture doll is there are a lot of similarities between that and the Ghoul's Rule Jackie Laura which um, made me very happy because it's my favorite. I need to keep making sure that this is recording because I'm so worried about it just stopping. You know how phones just do that? So rude of them. I'm scared of um, doing this belt in black afterwards because it's going to like bleed out pretty easily. Ah. Um, yeah. I really loved um, Claudine's uh, what's it? Uh, jacket and her bag. Her bag is like my favorite thing. If that's ever on um, eBay just as is, you know I'm gonna get it. Even if like that's never gonna happen. <laughs> I want it so bad, it's so cool. Um, and I also really loved her shoes, her stockings, her necklace. Like she is a gorgeous doll. But I also didn't like um, the pink in the back of her hair. I didn't even draw that in, by the way. I'm not planning to. <laughs> and then what else? Dracula is just perfect. I love her whole doll. Everything about it is stunning and gorgeous. And I do not regret spending the amount of money I did. And if anyone doesn't know, I live in Australia. Shipping fees to Australia are a hellhole. Uh, in case you didn't know, which you probably could have worked that out. It's, you know, the bottom of the world. Uh, what do they call it? The, um... Down under. 
I'm not gonna do all of Frankie now, by the way. At one point when this kind of dries up a bit, no, before it dries up a bit, so I can leave it to dry, is the plan. This little bit here is also this color. Almost forgot the little white light switch part. I'm actually really proud of how like the light switch part came out on this shoe. I'm just like, damn, you wouldn't be able to tell what it is, but you also would know it if you saw it for what it is, I think. I hope. Also, sorry that this is sideways for you guys. That's kind of better. Um, I can't like see what I'm doing. I'm kind of sitting at a diagonal angle to where the camera is, so yeah, because I would not be able to draw otherwise. Wait, so I'm gonna have to turn this again. Ah! Um, it's definitely better to use like the chisel nib for big sections, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. Love that I keep assuming once the high fans are the ones watching these videos. Like, there's I'm not sure how much crossover there is between artists. Monster High fans, probably a lot because look, Monster High is great and it definitely inspires creativity and that leads to doing some form of art. But I'm not sure because again, I'm just like, I see mostly doll collectors in the Monster High fandom, which you know, that makes sense, not doy, but <laughs> um, yeah, I don't follow any artists that do Monster High videos. I definitely see a lot of Monster High fan artists. Also, feel free to like, if you do Monster High art, feel free to like tell me down below, especially if you do like sapphic Monster High art. Um, because, you know, I have a lot of ships in this fandom. <sighs> and no one else likes the ones I like. <laughs> um, there's a few Claude, uh, wow, I almost butchered that name. Claudine and Venus is one of my big ships, and there's a few people that ship that. But not as many as, obviously, Claudine and Draculaura. Um, which is a fun ship, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy it. But it's, like, not my favourite. I don't know, I just... They're cute, but I don't see them together. Which is rare for me, because I, you know... I ship a lot of sapphic ships just for the sake of them being sapphic. I also really like um, Frankie and Abby, they're really cute, uh, I swear like three other people should be too. <laughs> Literally the episode that introduced to each other is enemies to friends, I'm just like enemies to friends and lovers. Anybody else, please? Excited for the reproductions, the Boo original reproductions coming back. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get all of them because at first I was planning to not get Frankie because I really recently got like a $20 Frankie from eBay. I'm gonna keep mentioning eBay. Um, and she's great, but I think she was like one of the previous reproductions and she wasn't like that high quality. And, um, oh, I just damaged that bad. Um, yeah, well, I, at least I don't think so, I, I need to see the doll in the box. But yeah, the reproductions. Um, but yeah, when they revealed the, like, teasers on Twitter on the Monster High account for, um, Frankie and all that, her shoes look so much higher quality than the ones I have, and I know they edited um, the ones they did for the Haunt Couture, so I don't trust it, so I'm gonna wait till I see it in store. I'm assuming they're coming to store in Australia, because I want them to, and if they don't, I'll be upset. They keep just linking something for the international fans asking about if they're coming to places. I haven't looked into that yet, it's kind of annoyed me that they can't just answer outright. I'm just like, dudes, come on. Especially if like, they're just like, are oh, they coming to England? And they're like, check here. I'm like, bro, it's England. 
Like, I'm sure I won't get answers for Australia, because anything that's not England or the US is like, oh my god, they barely exist. Um, but, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized how true that is. I'm just like, wow. Every time someone says they're from a place that's not those two online, I'm just like, oh my god, that's so cool. But yeah. Most of the people I follow online aren't from those two countries, so I'm just like... And that's not because I'm like not looking out for them, it's just like because people are everywhere. But in every conversation online I see people just assume you're from one of those two places. Here's Frankie so far. I'm gonna switch to Claudine now um, and let this dry a bit so I can continue working on her skirt and then I'll go in with all the darks and stuff um, when I do that. But yeah, this is how she's going. Uh, here's the Claudine mock-up sheet, um, so we're gonna work by that and go lightest to the darkest in terms of colours again. Curious, who's your favourite Monster High character? Mine's Claudine, I also really like Venus, so of course I ship them together because they're great. Um, I also really like Dracula's dolls, she always has like the best dolls.
boom that is Claudine and now I'm gonna take a break all right we're back and uh, I'm coming back to Frankie That didn't go perfect, but it went. Okay, I don't like how thick that is, but that's just gonna have to do. <laughs> There's her again. Now it's time for Draculaura! Yay! Okay, so here's the swatch sheet. This is what I've got planned. I really love how cute she came out in this. Um, so yeah. Alrighty, let's continue. So now we're up to Draculaura. And 
And I'm gonna start with her shirt because again, going by lightest color first. Um, I promise by the next video I'll figure out a better way to sit so you can actually see what I'm doing better. Cause, well like, just it's nicer to look at, to watch. You might be able to hear my cat's loud purring in the background. Um, also, the cat's twid. I'm Claudine laid out on my bed. Oh, um, Claudine laid on my bed um, to dry, and the cat stood on her on her way in. I could, didn't get to it at the time. So that's sad. Um, it'll be alright though, it's not so bad.
nice. While we let that dry, let's go back to the beginning again. Alrighty, now they're all done. Here's Frankie, who I think turned out really well. Jackie Laura, who I also think turned out pretty well. Um, there's some elements that I don't think went great, but she's very pink. And then Claudine is also done, and she was the easiest to do. So there's the three of them again. I'm pretty happy with that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I hope it's not too long. Hope you have a lovely day, a happy month, and an excellent week, and I'll see you on the next one.